all you girls who are on OCPs and you've been on it for a long time, or if you're somebody who's considering it, this video is for you. I'm not trying to scare you if you're already on it. Uh, I just want you to be really informed because here's what I hear most of my clients say. I've never had gut issues and now I can't tolerate a whole lot of foods. My hair fall just won't stop. And suddenly after stopping my OCP, the weight keeps piling up and the acne won't go away. Now, because of the genetic differences we all have, right? Not everyone is going to have all of these effects. But if you're one of them, you might want to understand what PBCS is. It's called post birth control syndrome. And my clinical experience, I've seen most women who've taken it for over a year land up with some form of PBCS. So imagine what happens to somebody who has been on it for so many years, right? The fact is hormonal birth control includes synthetic forms of hormones, estrogen and progestin. Either it's got both or just progestin and why this distinction matters, I will leave for another day. But most of you taking it, I know don't even know which form you're on, you know. But anyway, the thing is that recent research has proven that there's a bi-directional relationship between oral contraceptives or sorry, oral estrogen and our gut bacteria. It's called the estrogen gut axis. The use of OCPs increases gut permeability, which is why you are now more sensitive to a whole lot of foods. You're also gassy, bloated and can't lose weight more easily, you know. Oral progesterone has its own adverse effects. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not saying don't take it, but let it not be the first line of action. If you're on it, don't stop it immediately. At the ONE program, we actually always encourage our clients to continue the medication, any sort of medication that they're on, that they're on along with a whole lot of food therapy, uh, you know, mindfulness rituals, a lot of lifestyle changes, etc. So that this dysbiosis that is created can be corrected and uh, so their gut microbiome can be in a better place. Now, if you're already on the pill, please make sure that you're having a good probiotic that actually stays alive until like it reaches the intestines. Plus, do a whole lot of things that make you calm down because anxiety is a very common side effect of taking OCPs. Also, have supplements like B-complex, zinc and vitamin C because these are the nutrients that are completely robbed off from your body when you're on the pill, you know. But when it comes to supplements, please have the most efficient form so you get the worth of your money. If you have questions about OCPs, how to get off them, whether you should get on them or not, post them below. I'm very happy to answer those.